Hi everyone, happy Saturday in the US. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and personal success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help people discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit generating business that's based on you, so that you can show up in your marketing, live your life out loud, and be you out loud and attract the clients that you're meant to serve, who you actually love to work with, and, uh, and your business is easy. So today I wanted to talk about something that many people, I, I believe, know, but I'm always surprised that um, more often than not, I meet people that don't understand or have a different view of how to use your, or if you should use your personal page as uh, in your business. Hi Val. So, you know, I believe this is a very important subject because first of all, if you, if you don't really understand um, the whole scope of your choices as a business owner, um, you are going to be at a disadvantage. Second of all, you know, um, the thing that I often hear for uh, many business owners and people in general, even people that don't have businesses, is that uh, being on Facebook, it's just inevitable that you fall into the comparison game. You know, I'm surprised when I talk to um, just regular people who don't have businesses and they also fall into the comparison game with all the smiley faces and everything. But as a business owner, it's, it's, a, it's a double challenge because um, you know, you're, you are um, fighting for your income and watching people brag about their successes and while you're happy for them, there's a side to you, I'm sure, that thinks, you know, why not me? And so at the end of this, I want to um, teach you some things that will help build your confidence and bulletproof you from falling into the comparison game. Because as, you know, a truth is, is that we have to be on Facebook whether you want to or not, to effectively market your brand. So more people, you know, most people talk about your Facebook business page and how to um, generate a following there. And, you know, um, that's, that's a whole different animal. I'm not really going to address your business page. Uh, today I just want to talk about the relationship that you have with your personal page. So... First of all, to answer that question, should you use your personal page in your business? First of all, I'm a business strategist. You are watching this because you have a business, more than likely. And how you're watching it is from your personal page. So you are actually showing up regardless. So if you're one of those people who says, you know, I'm not using my personal page as, a, as in my business, you actually are because you're showing up as, um, as you on Facebook. As you join groups, so if you're a business owner, more likely than not, you are in Facebook groups that are relate to business, whatever business that is that you're in. And so when you show up in groups, you also show up as your personal page profile. Um, so if you are one of those people that have decided, I'm not using my personal page in business, Regard, you don't really have a choice because you, you are. That's just the, the bottom line is that you are using it in, in your business. Uh, for that reason, uh, just on the very base level, your profile photo, the, the actual description that you have um, on your personal page, uh, your about page on your personal page, all of that should point people to the fact that you have a business. Not because you're trying to break Facebook rules, not because, you know, you're trying to be like sleazy or, you know, conniving. Because if your business is positioned correctly, and I hope that it is, um, you are being you in your business. And so your business is uh, more likely than not something that you love and more likely than not, um, if you're an entrepreneur, you probably spend much of your life uh, working. So even when you're, you feel like you're not working, you actually, every time you're on Facebook, you're working. 
And so this is going to be like a little bit of a controversial subject, but you know, I spent 25 years in the corporate world and some of that, some of that time was, you know, being surrounded by men in suits and, you know, I had to wear heels and, and, you know, you had to dress up and, and look really nice. You know, today I'm wearing this really cute camisole and, you know, my jeans. So, you know, um, you don't, uh, as an entrepreneur, show up uh, at work and then you go home and you take your pants off and then you go and you be you and live out the rest of your, of your night, right? I mean, um, you show up as you when you wake up every day and then you log on your computer and it's like you just opened your doors for business. Um, and so sometimes I hear people say, you know, well, I only work, you know, from nine to five and then I close my doors and then, you know, then it's just me on, on Facebook. Is that really true? Because you're still you, um, just because you took off your business hat, you're still uh, you in your profile picture when you are showing up in groups and you are writing on your personal page. All of that is still you so that the next day when you open your doors for business and get on Facebook as the professional that you are, um, that's also you. So you don't get to select the information that people are absorbing. So, so if you are showing up in Facebook groups, you're posting on your page, um, you are basically uh, on show 24-7. Um, Every time you're on Facebook, you are showing up as yourself. Now, that doesn't mean like you're sitting, you're going to have to like post all these business, mes business messages. That's not it either. So just as I was talking about, if your business is positioned correctly, part of your marketing is to sh part of your marketing is to show who you really are, and that means that um, showing up because people people don't just buy what you sell, they buy who you are. You know, there's a million different people doing you know that are business coaches, business strategists. You know, if I were to say you know. Uh, I'm at an even par with all those people and, you know, uh, hire me, you know, I, I'm, I'm, but I'm better. That's not why my clients hire me. My hire, my clients hire me because I, I actually speak words that they, that they can hear because I'm very me. And so, um, you know, when, when I'm posting pictures of my dog, Harlow, when I'm, uh, posting things about holistic health and all of that. In essence, you know, I'm showing who I am and, and you know, li I call it LOL marketing, where you're living your life out loud. LOL, live, live your life out loud or love your life out loud. And that's part of your marketing because what you're doing every time you show up on Facebook or in any social media channel is that you're building your personal brand. Your personal brand is what people say about you when you are not there, whether they're thinking about you or not. But then, so, so this, you know, I'm going to go back to, you know, so if you close your doors at five o'clock and you're still posting on Facebook, you actually have not closed your doors. You actually have uh, a see-through door <laughs> and you may not think that people are, are watching you as a business person. And they may not be strategically thinking that either, but they're absorbing it. And so you're, you're building your personal brand, um, even, and, and you may not be thinking about that. So, you know, this has been a, a, um, a subject that has uh, really caught my eye since the very first time I um, joined Facebook as a business owner. And I would go into... I, I actually joined one Facebook group and I would watch people um, just crumble, like, you know, have, have um, just cry and be really depressed and things like that. And maybe it's just because, you know, I'm from the outside. I was from the outside. And so it really, um, I, I really took notice to it. But, you know, I'm thinking this person is a business owner and she's going to want people to hire her. And, you know, um, she's losing it online. Like these people, they, 
they're, they may not be, not everyone, obviously, clearly, not everyone is your ideal client who you're meeting and networking with and being friends with, but you're building your image. So like when I would go to my corporate job, I didn't one day show up in my bathrobe um, because people would think, you know, how unprofessional. In fact, I probably would have been sent home. Um, so I'm not saying like you have to dress up, but you don't one day show up incon incongruent with the way, the image that you want to present. This is not about being fake. This is about be being authentically you and understanding that when you show up, you're, you're building your personal brand. So, you know, this is, this is truly like should be a running thought in your head that when you open your doors, you literally have opened your doors. People are, um, are, are watching you whether you think that they're not. It's not about you, them liking your posts. People have Facebook feeds and many people, probably more than you even know, uh, are not liking you, but they're seeing you. So, you know, I'm sure you've seen those groups that are like 20,000, 30,000 people. In actuality, if you spent some time studying them, I guarantee you, you will find only about like, you know, a couple hundred are actually actively participating. What about the 18 to 28,000 other people that aren't doing that? So I just want you to have a heightened sense of consciousness that you are now a business owner and a business owner who is online. So this is, you know, stepping up to your highest self every time your doors are open, which is every time you log onto Facebook. You know, um, personally, I, I like to view my social media as uh, a way to hold me accountable. So I was going to save it to the end, but I feel as though, you know, um, this is something that, that if, you, if it works for you, I highly recommend it because, uh, you know, I think accountability is something that everybody wishes they had more of. And because we have to be on social media, instead of using it um, and, you know, just letting it run us, you know, that's how you fall into the comparison game is, is um, you know, you just happen to see something and then it affects you. I like to look at my social media, even my Instagram and my Facebook and everything, as when I wake up and I actually get on Facebook, that it makes me like hold myself higher, that that's my accountability system. That even, despite, you know, many of you know I have a, a, a really bad health condition and it's very bad in the morning. But when I open my doors on Facebook, when I log on, I, you know, it makes me pick myself up. I'm having my bulletproof coffee and, um, and I know that, you know, I, I spend my time in the morning with my active focus meditation, focusing on my success goals and my success identity. And then I act that when I'm on social media. I literally stand straighter and, um, you know, because I know as a business owner, number one, my presence is very important. Number two, as a human, my presence is very important. I, you know, as a business owner, want to be congruent from the time that I am uh, in my own head, in my own life, to the time that I need to be at my highest self, like I'm on live video right now. I want to hold myself accountable all the time so that, you know, I, I often see people walk in, they're like, uh, you know, because they think no one's watching. First of all, it doesn't even matter if anyone's watching or not. You're watching. Like, you know, you're in your head. Like, stand up. Hold your chest up. You know, it, it feels better. Uh, I heard Jordan Harbinger from The Art of Charm teach this, and this is like the best. This is such a good thing. It will become your... Um, your subconscious. So I will get back to Facebook in a second, but this will help you um, just stand up to yourself. 
is that every time you walk through a door, not a door in public, but a door in your house, every time you walk through a doorway, act as though a light is shining out of your chest. Hold your head up. So I, that sounds so ridiculous, but you know, everyone's like looking at their phone. Hold your head up. Like, so it's even. Hold your shoulders back and act as though a light is shining out of your chest. In fact, every time you speak to somebody in the outside world, act as though a light is shining out of your chest. You will find, number one, your posture improves. Number two, you breathe better because your lungs are, are opening up. Number three, you have a very strong presence to yourself, which translates to the presence that you present when you're online. And if you, if you think of Facebook as an accountability system, then every time you are on it, you are at your highest self. And, and so that's one way that you can seed in your confidence so that when somebody else is talking about, you know, their million dollars, you are already confident, number one. Number two, scroll right by because you can like it if you want, you know, just to show your support. But that's not you. They're not you. They don't have your gifts. They don't have your talent. And how they, how they made that million dollars or however much they made is not how necessarily you will make yours. And so if think, looking at things like that is causing you to feel bad, then don't look at it. We have a choice. We have a choice of how we use our social media. And, you know, you should understand that even if you are, you know, you're like, oh, I, you know, I'm bulletproof. I can, I can look at this. You know, it doesn't make me feel bad. Your brain, you know, I, as I talk about, you know, our fear brain, we judge everything out of our fear brain. So if money is an issue for you and you're watching other people, every time it like adds up, it adds up, it adds up, and then boom. One day, you're like having a bad day, and you just end up beating yourself up. So if you do these things, you will, you will start to train your mind and your actions to help you step up to your highest self. My business holds me accountable to my life, and that's, that's how I like to view it. That if I don't show up in my own life, well, then I can't make money. And, you know, I can't show up in my business. So, you know, use it as you want. But to me, you know, that's what having a, your own business and a personal brand is about. It's a gift. It was a gift to be paid to be you. So let's get back to Facebook. So I want you to go after this and look at your profile picture. Does it reflect the image that you want your ideal clients to see? If not, this is like, you know, you don't need a, a real photo shoot. When you have the money and you want to invest in one, then go get a real photo shoot. But we have real phones, right? They take great pictures. And if you can go, I learned this from um, some YouTube superstars, you can go in front of a, if you don't have lighting, you can go in front of an open or I'm sorry, a, a, um, a window, a not covered window, when the light is shining, not directly at you, but in the window, like, like mine is now. And it's the best, it's like a, it's like a, a real um, photo, uh, uh, whatever, uh, lighting. There's an app called Facetune, uh, Face and then T-U-N-E, I think. And you can like literally just like erase out your blemishes. You can make it lighter. You can like color your skin a certain way. You can even whiten your teeth. I don't know. It's kind of magical, but use that as your profile picture. Um, go look at your description. Does it have your website on it? Not because you're using it to sell people, but again, you know, if you're a personal brand, you, you work 24 seven, you're just showing your life, right? And then your about page, you know, Forget people Googling your name. The first thing they're going to look at if you met them on Facebook is your Facebook profile. Who are you and why are you here? Do you notice I ask that question to you every single day? 
<laughs> because you should be asking yourself that same thing. Now, when it comes to posting on your own personal page, you know, this is not about becoming a 24 seven infomercial. It's not about selling, but you know, personally, I'm thinking about my business 24 seven, thinking about my clients and thinking about what can help them. It, it actually takes me work to not think about my business. So if that's, you know, how you, if you're, if you're thinking about your business and you're so inspired, then you should post that inspiration on Facebook because that's not selling. That's LOL marketing. That's just, uh, you know, expressing your inspiration online. And it happens to, um, not only just help you understand your value, but if you happen, you know, if somebody else happens to either have a friend who's uh, needing what you sell or who may enjoy, you know, what you just posted, they may share that with them. And, uh, you know, that's just a, a, an LOA, LOL way of marketing. Number two, you know, I'm always really proud when I get testimonials. Post some testimonials. That's not selling either. That's just being proud of the work that you do. And that also happens to raise your profile. Um, you know, uh, post some things about your life that are, are up-leveled things. You know, like, um, you know, taking time off, which is a very valued, valued thing. Uh, you know, this is a great way. So if you're trying to lose weight or eat healthier, Post your beautiful, healthy food online. Food actually happens to be a very um, popular uh, thing when you post pictures of food. And if you show how healthy you are, again, it's an accountability system and you're, you're marketing your personal brand. This is you, you know, this is what people hire regardless of what you teach, but you know, you're a healthy person. When you do that, you will find that the, the people you speak to, your ideal clients, are interested in that too. So, you know, this is not about like saying, who are my ideal clients? Do they do yoga? Do they do this? You know, and I see people like crafting this, this weird image of uh, an ideal client. Your ideal client is very much like you. I call them your BBF, your best business friends. So I posted on my Facebook page today, you know, last night I had an hour and a half consultation. It wasn't a consultation. Uh, it, I mean, it was the first time I was meeting her, but I felt like I was talking to my best friend. We were just sitting there chatting and laughing and talking about our business and talking about health. And I mean, that's, you know, when you are marketing yourself correctly, positioning yourself, as the, the wonderful person that you are with, of high value, you are going to attract people who value you. This should eliminate selling. This should be like you're, you're, you're literally qualifying people just being you. You know, people, I, I say this very often, is that people that don't like me don't like me and that's okay. I'm not for everybody. And so, you know, the more me that I can be, the more that the people that don't like me will, un will understand, you know, I don't like her. And the more the people that can actually hear me and want to learn from me, you'll hear me. This is, this is about being congruent and aligned in your life. Forget your business. I can think of no other more fulfilling way just to live my life so that I don't have to put on a pair of pants and su a suit every day and a tie and be fake and then come home and take off my pants at night. My dad used to do that and I used to be so embarrassed that he would like walk around in his underwear. But uh, you know, I understand, you know, who's a professor and, and, but that just seems like I spent my entire childhood thinking, how exhausting that, that is. Like you have to actually like get dressed and, you know, go to work and all that. And as a girl, you know, 
I kind of liked it. It held me accountable, and I got to dress up and wear fun clothes. But just to, just like, you know, my dad, I would come home, and I would take off my clothes, and, you know, then I could live my real life. We're entrepreneurs. You can live your real life now, out loud, up-leveled, so that your business um, holds you accountable, and it helps you up-level your own perception of yourself. So, you know, this is about bulletproofing your confidence inside of your business, but outside of it too. And, and you'll find if you do these different things that you'll start to hold yourself um, straighter. You'll start to think of yourself as, as a higher value. And so, you know, I, I'm going to give you a challenge that from here on out, twice a day on your personal page, you need to post something that up-levels your perception of yourself. It should be like a testimonial, you know, a healthy meal, um, something inspiring that you came up with in your business, something that, uh, a book that you just read and the insight that you had, um, some, you know, something that relates to your business. Lastly, I want to talk about networking. So this is about friending people online. This is not about, uh, you know, I don't know. This is, this is about networking. So being surrounded by people who get you is really the goal of your personal brand. And so I know that a lot of people are teaching, you know, and I have a Facebook group. But, you know, people are teaching you, go and hang out in Facebook groups, come follow me, and, uh, you know, that's just how the online business world seems to run. Uh, so that seems to be, you know, the way that, uh, you know, it's, an, it's a necessity. It's a necessity. But how you use those Facebook groups, you know, how, I'm not going to address the Facebook groups right now. But I am going to address the fact that, you know, at least for me, I know, and th this may work for you too, but I would rather just post on my own page and not have to go into Facebook groups aside from my own, which I really love. I would rather, you know, LOL my marketing on my own page and surround myself with people that get me and then spend the rest of my time working, producing value for my BBFs and, um, you know, um, coming up with great ideas, insights, doing things like that. So the gift of networking and, you know, adding friends and Facebook makes it very easy, you know, so if you, if you look on your suggestions, I'm sure you'll see you have a lot of mutual friends who, um, are business owners also. So, you know, I like to suggest that you connect with like five people a day. This is not like some sleazy sales tactic because quite honestly, like probably like, you know, 1% of the people that you meet will become your ideal clients. But this is about people that get you. So, you know, my real life friends, the friends I had before I, I had a business, they don't get me anymore. Like I literally, I'm talking about <laughs> being like, you know, up levels and all these things. And they're like, who is this alien? And then they go talk about their dogs, you know? And so people that get me happen to be my business friends. And I want to be surrounded by people who are into holistic nutrition, who understand what it's like to be up leveled, who have a personal brand, who do fun things, you know, photographers, designers, you know, health practitioners, um, what business people, whoever you are, I want to be surrounded by that because that's inspiring to me. And I don't want to have to go in Facebook groups and try to prove my value to people. Um, you know, I'd rather just live my life out loud and, uh, and then do other marketing. So, you know, I had to say that out loud because um, I think that, you know, 
whether or not it works for you is up to you. If it didn't work for you, I'm sure you probably may have logged off long ago. Or you can leave a bad comment. I don't care. <laughs> um, but, you know, um, to me, doing the things that I'm teaching right now and thinking of yourself and your business in this different way will help you uh, not fall into the comparison game. You know, quite honestly, you know, I'm a business strategist. So I help people build profit generating businesses. But I have a um, secret, um, private, really want and need for doing that is in the end, I want to stop people from um, the self-sabotage that happens when you compare yourself to others. And I, I feel as though, you know, I, I target Facebook a lot because I, I fell into it. And I know, you know, I have very high standards and in, for my own life. And, uh, you know, I have an autoimmune disorder. And autoimmunity is when your body literally is rejecting healthy cells. So, you know, I've, I've spent my life, I've said this before, you know, I've spent my life, like, you know, not feeling good enough. I didn't know my identity. And um, I just felt, I felt, you know, when the boy, when I was five, called me a chink, you know, it, it, stuck with me and all my life I just never wanted to be me so I spent my life beating myself up so you know now that I know so much about the brain and the body uh, autoimmunity is actually caused not just by nutrition but it's caused by your mind what I'm seeing on uh, what's happening to many business owners my some of my friends um, when they fall into when you fall into the comparison game is that uh, you end up beating yourself up in your mind you, the high-valued person who came to these amazing discoveries, who's achieved great things in your life, and uh, you beat yourself up for things that don't even relate to you. Uh, and it makes you um, not do the things you need to do in your marketing, and it's kind of like a, this downward spiral. And in the end, you know, this is, this is my... Um, I feel as though this is, you know, my purpose of why, why I want to do all this and why I really want to speak out is that, you know, I know from my own life and I know from studying science and the human body that your mind and how you think of yourself will contribute to your overall health. And I call it the autoimmunity of entrepreneurship. Is that if your business and Facebook is causing you to beat yourself up in your mind, it's affecting your health. You may not see it now. It may not be... Um, something that you're actively thinking of. You may not even, I'm sure you don't have symptoms. But the human body, we all have cells uh, that have cancer in them. It has, we have Parkinson's, we have, you know, Alzheimer's. Those cells live within every single one of us. I don't care, you know, how healthy you are or, you know, whatever. And when you not only don't eat well, but when you beat yourself up in your mind, it causes your cells to express themselves. It causes those normally healthy cells to express themselves negatively. And so I, you know, I want to share this with you now because I'm sure that you are very healthy and um, you have no idea what's going on inside your body. But if, if you are aware of what's going on in your mind, you have the power to change that. And doing these things just helps you, you know, feel better about yourself every day. But in the long run, it'll just help you feel better um, in your body. And I know, you know, I suffer every day because of my health condition. And I'm, I'm actively fighting for my life, literally. And um, I don't want anybody who I know, sorry, to go through this. Because, sorry. because I'm a really strong person, and some days it just breaks me down. Sorry. All right, I think I should end this. <laughs> anyway. 
I hope that that's helped you. Please share this with somebody if you think that, you know, they're suffering from uh, the autoimmunity of entrepreneurship. And um, you guys are all great people. I see the names and I think that, you know, if you're not making money in your business right now, if you're not feeling totally fulfilled, it's a choice. And all you have to do is just choose to say, I'm great, and now I'm going to tell people about it. Because you are, and the right people will hear you. There's people out there that need you, and they need you to stand in your value and to get your, your information out there and to, you know, live a long, healthy, happy life. So, um, so anyway, <laughs> sorry, I really didn't mean to do that. And, uh, I, I just, I care a lot about the people that, um, are in my life and I don't want you to go through any of this. Because again, forget you have your business, but you have your life. And I want it to be long and happy. So anyway, uh, at, the, you know, at the very least, <laughs> please uh, sign up. Uh, if you, if you want to find out how to be positioned to sell. Um, so in actuality, positioning replaces selling. It's an authentic way to market yourself and to, um, to ha have a way to speak about yourself in a system that actually is based on science, um, the way your mind works, the way your clients' minds work, and it's how you connect with the people that need to hear you. So if you want to sign up, it's at positioned.totalgenius.net. I very much encourage you to take the seven-day challenge, which is on the other side of that page, and listen to the, the free training on the other side of that. But I really encourage you to take the seven-day challenge. It's a very shortened and different version of Master Your Money Code. And um, it, if you don't know what Master Your Money Code is, uh, it's okay. But it's a, this is about developing your inner positioning. And then in the last three days, we develop your outer positioning. But, you know, I can't encourage you enough to um, understand what what is, is how to build a solid foundation of you as a business owner before you start to market yourself online because uh, that's how you understand what your value is and always stay congruent with that and know how to get back to it. Okay? So that's it. I'm Shauna Yao, the crying, <laughs> uh, the crying genius at totalgenius.net. And have a great night, everyone. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.